now we are starting to apply bit so you know that uh, we are looking for to insert 15 bits uh, because we've got 16 threads so then uh, we're going to follow the pattern what the pattern it says so we're gonna do uh, try to follow the patterns uh, i've got six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eighteen fourteen uh, fifteen so what i'm going to do i'm going to cover most of the things that you will need so things like uh, how to insert bits as i'm doing so what you need after you you have them this uh, 15 bits remember our bidding thread is underneath when we tie a knot and then we we went underneath we put underneath what you're going to do you push bits we've got 15 bits and 16 threads you push bits inside the the web threads so each and every uh, bit must have its own line so then you push the nickel in the bit on top of all uh, these uh, 16 threads the web threads so then you push the nickel like this so then you pull you pull so don't make it too tight just uh, be gentle so then the first line always give a problem so then what you're going to do you go underneath so you pick another 15 bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So so you, you've got your bits, the thread is always underneath. So you pushing. So the next one you will see that it's gonna be a bit easy because the the the, the bits uh, are now uh, in line so remember according to our pattern we're going to insert uh, four lines of uh, white bits before we start a pattern so we're going to insert four lines of white bits before we start a pattern So in starting off my dice, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a uh, seven white bit, one dark blue bit. So in this case, I'm using the Royal Navy. You can use, mostly we're using black uh, instead of Royal. So you pick um, seven white. So now we're starting to apply uh, our designs, the design that is on the booklet that we have uh, shared with you. So now we are starting to apply. So the pattern that we have given you. So then let me use turquoise as well. So because we don't have to follow exactly as the one we, we shared with you. You can use the colors of your choice. But uh, the design that we, sh we gave in you, it has to be the same as that. Uh, six white bead one royal one turquoise and six white beads so i'm always going underneath can see i'm always going underneath all right so then what is going to happen the white bit is decreasing while the turquoise is increasing so but the royal blue is always a uh, uh, be one on each side 
so the turquoise now is growing by one five one three five seven so then you must follow exactly the pattern that you we have uh, given you So, because if you follow the pattern, the pattern tells you uh, when to change colors. So you must play with the colors um, of your choice or the colors that we have given you. You must make sure that you've applied all. Because if you're using, um, let's say you're using two colors or uh, three colors, you, uh, your bits going to be exhausted before you finish your work so you must try by all means to apply to use the beads that you have given you to apply the designs that you like so then now what is important now i'm going to show you how to add the thread when the thread is finished so then how uh, to add the thread because it's one of the crucial steps that um people they want to know so now uh, my thread is short so i want to add another thread let me show you what you do so let me go back with a uh, three bits let me go back with three bits So, and then when the thread is finished, so you go back with the uh, three beads. Okay. Uh, three beads again. Three beads again. Like this. So then you push the nickel in the, in the, line number four so you push it all into line number four my my nickel is no longer straight so let me keep it like this so then so i'm going to push it up until I finish this line number four. Okay, then now I'm done. So it's up to you if you want to tie a knot here or, or not, but we are not uh, we are not encouraging the tying of knots in the loom beating. Okay, I'm, I've got a new thread now. So I'm putting the uh, three beads, pulling my thread, uh, three beads again. So pulling my thread, pulling my thread. So now it's like this. So it's up to you, as I've said, it's up to you here if you want to tie a knot with these two uh, uh, threads. So then to make sure. So we're not saying do it or don't do it. It's up to you depending on what you do. But if you're using the smaller beads, it will stop you when, you, when you're finishing up your beads. So then you pull. So you pull the way you like. So. Okay. Then you continue. So then. You go through. To the last line you've been uh, working with so like so 